Hello friends, I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to my channel. I thank all the subscribers for subscribing. Today you can see a question of Mathematics Olympiad Challenge from Number Theory. On the screen, find all positive integers a such that a power 10 plus 1 is divisible by 10. That means we have to prove that we have to find the integer for which a power 10 plus 1 is congruent to 0 modulo 10. We have to find those values of a or we have to solve this congruence. So when a power 10 plus 1 is congruent to 0 modulo 10, that means if this is congruent. This is same as a power 10 is congruent to negative 1 modulo 10 or a power 10 is congruent to your 9 modulo 10. Now 10 as the factor 2 and 5. So once we'll check which modulo 2 and another another time modulo 5. Now checking with with modulo 2. First let us check if A is one condition A is given. When a is even, this implies that any power of a is even. That means a power 10 is congruent to 0 modulo 2. That means when it's divisible by 2, it leaves the remainder 0 because it is an even number. What does it mean? It means that a power 10 plus 1, which will be congruent to 1 modulo 2, that means it is not divisible by 2. So a cannot be even. Then it should be odd. Let us check with it. So here also any power of odd number is odd. So a power 10 is congruent to 1 modulo 2 because it is odd then divided by 2 it leaves it under 1. So that means a power 10 plus 1 will certainly divisible by 2. So this is verified. So a is odd. Now checking with modulo 5. a to the power 10 plus 1 is congruent to 0 modulo 5 since it is divisible by 10 that means a power 10 is congruent to negative 1 modulo 5 or this is congruent to 4 modulo 5. Using format little theorem, a power four 
is congruent to 1 modulo 5. That means a to the power 8 is also 1 modulo 5. That a to the power 10 can be written as a to the power 8 into a to the power 2. So this equals to 4 modulo 5 we have proved. The a to the power 8 is 1 modulo 5. This implies that a square is congruent to 4 modulo 5. So let us check one by one. So here we will find the possible values of possible all numbers. Then 10. which will take as a, the square is congruent to four modulo five. So let a is congruent to zero. Modulo 5, that means a square is again congruent to 0 modulo 5, not possible because we need 4. Then let a is congruent to 1 modulo 5, this gives us a square is congruent to 1 modulo 5, again it is not possible. A is congruent to 2 modulo 5, then this gives us A square equals to congruent to 4 modulo 5. That means this is one possibility. Then A is congruent to 3 modulo 5. A square is congruent to 9 modulo 5. And 9 modulo 5 is nothing but your 4 modulo 5. Then A is congruent to 4 modulo 5. So this gives us S square is equal to 16 equals to 1 modulo 5. So not answer. So, A up to 4 we are taking that means from this observation we found that A is either congruent to 2 modulo 5 to get x A square as 4 modulo 5 or A is congruent to 3 modulo 5. So, we are getting 4 modulo 5. Then what will be answer then? Either a is equal to when a is equal to 2 modulo 5, that means your a is equal to 7 because this is 7 as congruent to 7 modulo 5. Uh, now, this is 2, two modulo 5 here, it will be I can write this will be 7 modulo 5. the answers. Answers will be either A is equal to 7 or A equals to 3. When A equals to 3, then your this is congruent to 3 modulo 5 and A is equals to 7, that this is congruent to 2 modulo 5. These will two values are less than 10, so the answers are a is 3 and 7. 
आई होप यू एन्जॉय थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग